Today we look at an old favorite, the ACR. It takes a long time to get your hands on the ACR as it unlocks once you've reached level 110. Fortunately, there have been some changes by the developers that helps with leveling up faster, so while it may still be a grind, it's not as bad as it was before. Recently, the ACR did get a slight damage buff from 24 to 25, which is still rather weak for an assault rifle in this game, compared even to the SG-550, which I felt was also weak at 27 damage. Stats-wise, there's nothing special about the ACR. It has a little too much kick for the damage it offers, but fortunately, you really only have to worry about the vertical recoil which gives you a fair bit of attachments to work with to make it more manageable. The bullet velocity is 660, which again is rather slow and will make the weapon a bit tricky to use past 60 meters. And the little damage this weapon deals starts to drop off around 100 meters. All that said, the ACR is still a personal favorite for many longtime fans of Call of Duty. And if you're someone who really wants to make this weapon work in Battlebit Remastered, I got a few setups that will squeeze out every bit of performance the ACR has to offer. Before we get into those setups, if you enjoyed these videos, please give this one a like, and if you want to see more videos more often, please consider subscribing. Starting with the close range builds with the first few attachments you can unlock, I recommend the compressor barrel attachment. It always surprises me how little this attachment does on stats, but just how well it feels when you actually use it. Fortunately for the ACR, this W grip and the B25 grips can also be unlocked very early on, and I do recommend swapping to the B25 once you have it available. As an alternative, you can also try running the VTAC grip, as it felt solid and on par with the previous attachments when it comes to controlling the recoil. And lastly, but most importantly, once you have access to it, swap out your magazine to Quick Mag A. We all know reloads are slow in Battlebit Remastered, and this Quick Mag is going to be very handy if you want to play aggressively and push through those front lines. And with all attachments available, I still recommend to keep the Compensator attachment in mind. It has paired really well with everything I've tested. After that, the DGN and tactical barrels are also really good barrels to use. And for the grips, we have the B25, SC5, Stable, Harris EQR, and as an alternative, the Magpul angled grip. My personal favorite build for this weapon is the tactical barrel paired with the stable grip along with the quick mag. This will give you one of the best setups to minimize the vertical recoil, and the stable grip erases the first kick recoil that the tactical barrel comes with. Of course, the B25 grip is the best grip to use for close quarters combat, but I do recommend trying my build or mix and match with these attachments. Next up, for suppressor builds, I will again recommend only using the short suppressor, as that will have the least negatives. The long suppressor is still viable, but mag dumping with a long suppressor isn't going to be as easy. The underbarrel grips I would recommend would be the B25 if you're planning on being aggressive, and outside of that, the Harris CQR and vertical grips help out more with the recoil, and will make it more consistent with those mid-range fights. And then lastly, going into the long-range builds, there's not much that I can recommend here. With most setups I've tried, using the ACR with a high magnified optic isn't really possible to use in full auto, outside of my personal favorite setup which we covered earlier, which is the tack barrel and the stable grip. Anything else, tap firing is going to be a must. Outside of my build, there are other attachments I recommend. The long barrel will help increase the bullet velocity the most, and when paired with a stable grip, it's going to help with tap firing enemies at long range. Alternatively, we still have the Van B and NT4 barrels, which won't help out as much with the bullet velocity, but it will help out with the recoil. Throw in a Cantit or a top sight, and you will have a semi-versatile setup that can work in mid to long range. And that covers the ACR. It's an okay rifle, and there isn't really anything special to it. I did have fun using it, but I do miss the harder hitting rifles. What are your thoughts on the ACR, and did any of my setups help you out? Let me know, and let's talk about it in the comments below. Until then, I am Mr. Rain, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright, so, as per usual, I'm getting too condensed with my videos, so I do have to record a little more often uh, some extra footage. So here we are with some live commentary to showcase the weapon. In all its glorious, my teammates are completely unaware of what's going on directly in front of them. As per usual. Okay, like, what am I supposed to do with that? I lit him up five, six times and his helmet saved his life. So, once again, armor wins today.
because screw actual game balance. Whoa! Don't have that, please, and thank you. Trying to get on point. I think the guy was trying to res kind of gave up there. Oh no. <laughs> I just looked there and there was no one there. I turned around and he's right there. Never fails. I have horrible timing for whatever reason. And yeah, the ACR I am good grief. I'm not I'm I can't spawn on that point. That's just death. Anyways, the uh, setup that I have for the ACR is what I said was my preferred build, which was the tactical barrel and the stable grip. And it shoots very smoothly. Probably one of the best ways you can limit the recoil on this gun. As for the damage it offers, it's not good. Just in case you have a teammate that wants to try and res you. Case in point. And I am running low on ammo. Something that happens to me a little more often than I would like. That's because I can heal myself. Like so. I gotta get a player or two in here. I'm sorry. If it's... He's just camping spawn. He's just camping spawn. Why? Nope. You didn't see that. Nope. That's what we in the biz call free fire. And that's a mine. I can't aim, I promise. See? Oh, I'm flashed. And of course, he follows me. I'm never going to win against an MP5 with an ACR. It's just not happening. ACR is too weak and it fires too slow in comparison. Please no one shoot me. Please no one continue to shoot me. Thank you. Oh. Come on guy. Uh, you knew. You knew. How did you know? And he hit me again. Get the reload in. We're pretty much on our last leg right here. Wow. Dude, that was uh, so nasty. I was three shots in on him and he still just taps me, man. Alright, and that is anything that I have. So, sorry if it wasn't too entertaining, but you know, I have to pad out the uh, video to at least six to eight minutes to for, uh, you know, YouTube to recommend everything. So I hope you guys enjoy the content and yeah, we're back. So um, I'll see you guys in the next one.